the setup. First you have the grids, then you have the drawing underneath the grids, you have the photo reference of course underneath the grids. So when you start, you import the photo, then you lock the photo, then you draw the grid on top of it on its own layer, so you have to create a new layer for the grid. Welcome back to my channel. Right now we're going to get into grids and what I do first is I go ahead and import the photo so it has its own layer, its own layer, and what I'm going to do is lock it so we can't mess with it or anything or accidentally draw on it. So the next thing is to create a new layer and then this layer will be, and I'm going to rename it grid and what we're going to do is click on the brush tool and we're going to make it small maybe 10 pixels or something like that and we're going to go to black or whatever color you want to use and what we'll do is start drawing so I'm going to click and then hold shift so I can draw a straight line and I'm going to hold and hold shift and make another straight line hold and then what we can do is we don't have to do squares we can do different shapes it's wherever you want to put the lines so we're still going to use shift and I'm just going to put this line right here and I'm holding shift when I'm doing this and make sure your opacity at the top is 100% I'm gonna draw another line until I'm comfortable with the the amount of boxes that I can draw from so you can design this any way you want and I think that will do and put one more line right there okay now what, we're, what I'm gonna do is increase the shape of the brush or the size of the brush and make some dots on the ends of this and I recommend using a hard brush when you do the grid or hard enough anyway and I'm putting these circles on here so that I can select the grid better and I put it in spots where it doesn't matter and now if I ever need to select it it won't be hard to select for this part now we're gonna go ahead and actually duplicate the grid so we're going to duplicate the grid we're going to click on it hold and drag it down to the plus or the new layer uh, icon at the bottom button at the bottom and see we have another grid okay so now we're going to select the move tool and we're going to hold alt and shift and I'm going to click one of the corners and then we can move this over straight over here and we have two grids and now we can lock it and we're going to lock the other grid as well and now we're going to do new layer and we're going to drag that underneath both of the grids and this will be the grid where we start drawing or painting so now I'm going to throw that away there we go so you should have two grids you should have the drawing layer underneath and you should have the reference on its own layer as well underneath the grids and we lock the reference 
photo and we locked both of the grids. So now we are ready to paint. And this is how I get started with drawing just about anything from landscapes to portraits, you know, uh, and objects and all of that. So this is how you draw from life on Photoshop. This is the way that I do it. Uh, some people trace, but I want to keep it uh, very authentic. And some people start out with drawing, on, drawing a sketch underneath the grids, and then they start painting, or they just start painting. So that's what we'll do in the next video, but I just wanted you to get an idea of how I start and how to create the grid. So this is the setup. First you have the grids, then you have the drawing underneath the grids, you have the photo reference of course underneath the grids. So when you start, you import the photo, then you lock the photo, then you draw the grid on top of it on its own layer. So you have to create a new layer for the grid. And then, and then you duplicate the grid so that you can move it over and that's where you'll then create a new layer underneath both grids and, th and that layer will be the drawing layer. So that's where you'll start to sketch and paint, you know, and You'll never mess up the grid or the reference as long as they're locked. So that's how you get started. So in our next video, we'll start to paint.